Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix and today is Sunday, March 20th, 2022 and we got some giant robot news to cover. I want to get this out of the way today because quite frankly I'm not sure if I'm going to have time tomorrow, Monday, to record a giant robot news. If I do, it's going to be super short. It's just the nature of the beast right now. Super busy at work, so it all depends on, you know, work. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into some actual news. First up, we've got Ken Christensen, I think I think I'm pronouncing that correct, correctly, shares some more BotBots concept art. And I've got to admit, this is really, really nice. I really like the look of this artwork. Zooming in here a little bit just so we can get a better look at. We've got a popcorn popper, a pair of goggles, and a banana. I want the banana robot. Give me the banana robot. And then along with that, we have what appears to be a crystal ball, a whoopee cushion, <laughs> and a deck of playing cards. And then on top of that, oh, no, those, those are just the six. All right, that's really funny. I, I like... If I can only pick three, I'm going to get the whoopee cushion, the banana, and the popcorn popper. That's really funny. And on another Transformers news site, we have different versions of prototypes from the same artist. We have a cookie. We have a piece of candy, which has two different forms, a little robot and an evil robot fish. And then we have a couch, which crab mode or gorilla mode. That's funny. And then there is a vacuum cleaner. A microscope, a hat which has either a bunny robot mode or a robot robot mode, and an old school pressure cooker. Weird. Why a pressure cooker? Next up, we've got some more leaks of Transformers Legacy Velocitron Walmart exclu exclusives. We've got a deluxe assortment, Road Rocket, Burnout, Clampdown, Cosmos, and Blur. Huh. Interesting. Now, the case assortment, we're looking at two blurs, two road rockets, two burnouts, one cosmos, and one clamp down. No idea what these folks are going to look like, what these bots are going to look like. We don't know yet. I'm really interested in cosmos. I want to see a new cosmos. Moving on to some more concept art, we've got a Dinobot slag concept by Eric Saibinaller. Cybernaller. Uh, this is the same person that did the swoop. These are concept arts, and I, I gotta admit, Slug. Did I say Slag? I meant Slug. Sorry. Slug looks pretty good, and I've already reviewed the toy. The toy is really good, and it shares some of the design features we've got here. Coloring's a little bit different, but overall, I think we got the same figure, except for the spikes. I'm kind of glad the spikes aren't there, because ow. All right, next up, we've got two stories regarding Micro Machines. The first one is Micro Machines Mystery Packs official images. The... Um, okay. Somebody is in this house is printing while I'm trying to record. Darn it. Okay, well, I guess somebody's making a return. Sorry about that. All right, according to the package codes, we've got an adventure racing truck, cliff jumper, prime, ROTF Megatron, a food truck, a BMW M6 from 2019, Nemesis Prime, Sideswipe, Private Jet, Starscream, a BMW M6 from 2019, again, and a Bugatti Veyron. So let's see. That's supposed to be cliff jumper, prime, a little playset. I wonder what that folds up into. And there's Nemesis Prime, and there's Prime in another playset. Neat. Now, on the MicroMaster front, we've got another news story from TFW 2005. The other one was from T-Formers. Is we've got the Micro Machines Bumblebee playset, Micro Machines Transformers 2007 eight pack, and Micro Machines Transformers Revenge of the Fallen eight pack, and that is include. And, and don't forget that the Micro Machines Transformer Mystery Pack playset and vehicles have already been found at U.S. retail. 
All right, so Bumblebee is, I'm gonna go backwards here. Bumblebee is a giant Camaro that comes with a barricade and then it folds out, which I think this is the back of the vehicle mode because those look like, that looks like an exhaust pipe that folds out and it has one, two, three, four, five guns. I'm not sure what you're gonna be able to do with the guns, but hey, it's a cute little playset. It's neat. I, I like it, but at the same point, I don't know if I need the guns. I just don't know if I need the guns. And here is the eight pack. We've got Prime, Blackout, Ratchet, Starscream, Brawl, Bumblebee, um, the guy that got split. <laughs> Jeez, I forgot Jazz's name. And Megalatron. Megalatron. Yep. That Blackout looks so weird. Starscream Prime. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I actually like the Megatron. It looks like the wings fold in. Neat. I am glad we're getting Micro Machines again. I am. But man, these just, they look like they need more paint. Oh my heavens. Oh, whatever. Who cares? It's not that big a deal. They're so tiny. And finally today, we've got in-hand images of Studio Series 86 liter sludge. Yes, I know these have already been reviewed. Reviews are, I'm sorry, retailers are supposed to be getting this thing in August, but reviews are already out because of course they are. I'm trying to see in this if I could see who, ah, pictures are from Oi Bene, V Project, and Rensora. It's a big bot. It's a big old bot. And here's the power of the primes figure on top of the new version. I like the fact that the gun is stored underneath, but it looks a little weird. I'll, I'll show you in a second, but man, that is definitely sludge. And I am excited looking, I'm excited for this figure. And they got the, they got the back wings correct. They're, they feel like they're in the right spot where the power of the primes feel, don't feel like they were in the right spot. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this figure. Oh, this is where the gun is. This little thing right here, poking out of the belly. That's the gun. I don't like the fact that it stores that way, but eh, whatever. And yeah, it's a big figure. It's bigger than Galvatron, and it's bigger than Ultra Magnus. And there he is next to Slug. Yay. I am really looking forward to getting all three of these. I hope, I hope we get a leader Snarl and a leader Swoop. Yeah, the transformation looks kind of bonkers, and I am here for it. Yeah, yeah, I, I want this figure real bad. All right, everybody, that's it for today, Sunday, March 20th, 2022. Let me know what you think of all this news down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Vault Matrix, and I'll catch you all next time.